Hi Scorpio, Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. Welcome. I keep saying welcome back, but this is a new video. These are new. I'm completely new. So um, really it's welcome. Um, hopefully you're here. Click like and subscribe so you know when my videos are uploaded for you. I'm doing the weekly read at the moment for the week Monday 19th of October 2020, which is tomorrow. So I'm pumping these through and next week I'll plan it out a bit better to give me some time but I'm pumping these all through today hopefully I'm on the last um, element so we shall go <laughs> um, so I start with the animal spirit oracle I do a moontology oracle and then I go into the tarot which is your past present future energies and I do clarify each of those cards I finish off with the star temple oracle and I read that one from the book um, that's mainly because it's a really positive finish to the reading and I love that pack. Um, what else do I have to say? General reading only, take with you what resonates, what doesn't, leave that behind because that could be for somebody else that needed to hear it. Um, what else is there? Check your sun, moon, rising sun signs, is that right? Sun, moon, rising Venus signs. And um, also cross watches are welcome, obviously. And I'll get started. Exciting. Got a sore bum from sitting all day. Oh, I'm in Queensland, Australia, so we're um, getting pretty warm here. About 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, but it is pretty warm. I keep forgetting to turn my fan on and that way and I keep forgetting to learn the cameras opposite but that way fan <laughs> try and finish this reading and then go and turn it on so animal oracle you have armadillo spirits set healthy boundaries number three wow Scorpio what are you up to set some healthy boundaries here could be around anything toxic energy like like devil card um, could be toxic unhealthy energy that's around you, you know, just a general health and well-being diet says she I get this quite often because I had not heard of this until the other day. This is a gibbous moon, which means bulging, looks like it's going to pop. You're very close to achieving your goal. There you go, Scorpio, nice. Okay, and we'll start your reading. Monday, 19th of October 2020. What does Scorpio need to know for that week? If I can shuffle the cards properly. See those card ones that go like this? I cannot do that. I've tried and tried and tried. And they just go flying everywhere or they just all fall down and don't do anything. So maybe that's my skill that I need to learn. Okay, Scorpio, you've been through a lot of pain. It's finishing. This is coming to an end, okay? In your recent past, you've got the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and Strength card. Again, it's taken pain to get, taken pain to get past this strength. What am I saying? It's taken strength to get past this pain. Three of Pentacles, planning. Seven of Swords, deception. Walking out on what doesn't serve you anymore. Strength. That's taken strength to walk away from something that you'd actually planned quite meticulously. I think the 
as something happens there and it's taking strength it's caused you pain and it's taking strength to get through this okay we've got present energy queen of pentacles eight of swords nine of wands you're coming out into success there's success and achievement here however you're still feeling stuck as if you can't move any further forward you can always move forward you're very close to achieving your goal get this move okay you've gotten over all these hurdles and obstacles okay you're on solid ground now ready to move forward it's able to be done because your future energy you get the king of pentacles six of chalices and the world here's your success and abundance Here's your rewards. You've got the world. In the middle of you, you've got the six of chalices. Nostalgia, memories. Okay, there's always going to be memories, but don't hang on to them and don't live in them. Don't live by the past or live in the past. Is that the same? Okay, learn from mistakes. Obviously, up here, there's that deception. It's like that's caused pain so there's been some mistakes along the way nobody's perfect um, an energy like that you know is, is a lesson learned hopefully not to repeat the cycle and to make you stronger you've got strength in the past so to make you stronger as well so let's clarify ten of swords emperor five of swords four of swords very strong energy there to get you over this pain. It's a battle not worth fighting anymore. Walk away. You have a lot of healing to do. You will be doing a lot of self-healing to get through that pain. But you've got the Emperor there. It could be dealing with an Aries, but um, very strong, very, very much in control. See the Three of Pentacles, the Devil, Strength, six of cups so you've got strength in this line of your past energy you've got it twice enormous strength has been used to get you through this because look here's your healthy boundaries you need to set you need to break this negative or toxic energy okay set yourself healthy boundaries okay. it's going to take strength to break that chain break those chains but you're in the planning stage Use your memories as lessons learned. Okay, I'll clarify the Seven of Swords. Three of Pentacles, the world. Ace of Cups. So yeah, the deception. We've got Three of Pentacles again. So there's definitely a lot of planning going into this as well. There's a new chapter in love that's going to bring you the world. Doesn't mean a new relationship. Well, doesn't have to mean a new, it could be doesn't have to mean a new relationship new chapter okay it's going to bring you the world you're very close to achieving your goal what is the world is your goal let's clarify the strength page of swords six of swords page of wands two pages there each side of the six of swords young energy brave, courageous, ready to go, up for the challenge, very curious about what's in front of them, okay, and it's around strength, okay, so taking strength, strength to get through all this past pain overall, okay. but you've got the six of swords moving forward, leaving behind what doesn't serve you, moving on. See the Queen of Pentacles is with the Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because that is a lot of Pentacles. A lot of Earth sign there. Earth element. Okay, Six of Pentacles, getting yourself into balance, equal give and take. Seven of Pentacles, working on yourself, getting everything together. Nine of Pentacles, starting to see the reward for your success. Rewards are starting to come in. Okay, eight of swords with ten of wands. 
Hermit, King of Pentacles. Again, it's been a burden, but that is coming to an end. Been a huge weight on your shoulders. Okay, you've done this healing, you're going in within. Okay, you're doing some contemplating, some self love, healing with the Hermit. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. You might feel stuck, but look what you're coming to. Nice. Absolute success and abundance there with the King of Pentacles. Here you go, you are so very close to achieving your goals. Okay, but to get there, set these healthy boundaries. See the Nine of Wands, Three of Swords, Hanged Man, Three of Wands, Two Threes as well. So look at that, Just Google that number, Synchronicity 33. Could be an additional meaning there. But again, there's been heartbreak. This Nine of Wands, these hurdles and obstacles was to get over this heartbreak. Okay, it's left you kind of feeling stuck, hanging in limbo, sitting on the fence, not sure which way to go. Okay, open that door, look at the bigger picture, see what's out there. Always something new to go towards. And then your future energy, King of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Justice. Let's see, even though it's keeping you awake at night, overthinking things, juggling too many things at once, there's a reward coming for your effort. Good karma. Justice is here and it's on the King of Pentacles. So there's your justice, success, abundance. Nice. See the Six of Chalices, Page of Pentacles, Temperance, Seven of Swords. These memories, somebody's coming in to offer something new. Okay. Memories are great, especially if they're happy, of course. You always make room for the new. New's coming in with this Page of Pentacles. Got Temperance, do things in moderation, and again, balance things out. Everything's around balance. Maintain balance. Walk away from what doesn't serve you. This is a bit of a deceptive card as well. Watch your back. Okay. But um, keep that as a memory that you've learned a lesson from. And take the happy memories with you moving forward. Because your end card's the world. Let's clarify that. Eight of Swords, Fire of Pen Ten of Pentacles. Again, stuck in this energy of not being able to move forward. But you've got the higher front. Okay. Very much in control. Follow your intuition. Follow your gut. Follow your heart. Follow your mind. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. You know what's right for you. Okay. It's going to bring you this Ten of Pentacles, happiness and success here. It's actually going to bring you more than that. It's going to bring you the world. Okay. You don't need to be stuck. You're very close to achieving your goals. Your world is coming. It's very close. Okay, so I'm going to do a star temple oracle for you. Oh no, we're not. We're going to do the universe first. I did, I think it was Capricorn close the video off and everything and then I hadn't done the Star Temple Oracle so I had to redo theirs and it was actually a really really good read the second time around so I mean the first one was good too but the second one was super duper go and watch it <laughs> um, yes so Scorpio the universe has to say Eight of Pentacles Four of Chalices the magician. There you go. Eight of Pentacles, working hard on yourself. Again, back to where were we? Somewhere that had oh, the hermit. Was it the hermit? That's working on yourself there. So you are very much working on yourself. Okay, you are also just focusing on one thing. I mean, there's other things around that need your attention. Okay. 
look at everything manifest correctly look at this magician look what you can come out with when you manifest correctly boom nice now we will do the star temple oracle on a bit of a sookie la la and all these cards I've got a paper cut right in my joint finger joint there ouch it's an ouchie and my shuffling's <laughs> even worse than it usually is <laughs> I said I'm not a great shuffler there's some skills I need to learn Scorpio, you have the Huntress quest number 12. The Pleiades like my quest to be wild and free. Nice. 12. Numerology breaks down to 3. Armadillo Spirit is number 3. Check that out too. Sore bum from sitting all day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, number 12, the Huntress. Star words daughter, aim, hunt. A moon goddess and Huntress, Artemis guides you to embody your uninhibited and carefree authenticity. Like you, she always has her eye on the prize. Through focused dedication, true aim, and faith in action, you will hit your target. Artemis encourages you to stay on track. Do not get distracted and you will be triumphant. You've got this. Do it in your own unique way and enjoy the journey. With the moon, Artemis and the sisters of the Pleiades lighting your way, your intention is magnified and your pursuit promises to be bountiful. Your pursuit is your goal which you're very close to achieving. There you go Scorpio, that's what we have for you this week. Hope you like that. Um, click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.